Hey guys, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. My name is Dion the Crazy because I just am. I'm like the IFC channel slogan, always on, slightly off, and troll because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. So I'm just going to play in makeup. I just did a video saying what's on my face, which is the Hydro Grip, grip the Hydro Grip <laughs> Powder. <laughs> this is the crazy part. Milk Hydro Grip Primer. That's the face primer I'm wearing. Foundation is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in shade G60. I'm experimenting with different setting powders. I lightly um, set under my eyes and right here um, with the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder. Also, I'm sorry, I have um, Sephora's Bright Serums Gel Concealer under my eyes in shade 11.5 Butterscotch. So the Lancome Long Time No Shine Setting Powder very lightly all over my face and to set under my eyes where the concealer is. The Fenty setting powder in butter under my eyes. The Fenty setting powder in honey all over my face. The Fenty setting powder, I know, Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. Then nutmeg just along the perimeter of my face and under my jawline and a little bit right here. That's everything that's on my face right now. And so we are going, I'm sweaty. I just came back from Zumba. And so I've been just doing these things because no, I don't have blotting powder or anything. And so, but whatever. So we're going to jump in. Um, I have my brushes here. I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. The Fenty, and there's a mirror down here. So I'm hoping uh, I am in frame. I need a cup of hot tea and a hot shower. I did take my pain med already because my joint pain is has been acting up, which it always does when I'm trying to be more active, which is... That's what Zumba is, like, it's active. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm in pain right now. I realized in my videos that even though I have a tendency to start with the right eye and... Yeah, I just completely forgot what I was saying. Um, I'm noticing that you guys see my left eye more clearly because of how the angle is and maybe because of where the mirror is down here. I don't know. But I'm going to try to remember to focus on this eye like this this eye i usually take more time with for some reason and this eye i just kind of swoosh swoosh but because this one is more so where you are yes i'm sticking a brush in your face i'm so sorry this is just blending out the eyeshadow primer so i'm going to try to remember to do that and we're playing with the viseart neutral matte milieu palette sorry for the glare so that's what that looks like. I realized I haven't really done too much with this blue down here. And so I'm going to put that on a lid. But right now for the crease, I need a crease brush, right? I do. And I have one. I am going to take this shade up here in this corner. And I'm going to use that as a uh, yeah, color that's going to go right here. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> yeah, so that color is going right here. I always take my crease color above my crease because I have slightly hooded eyes. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm talking about this side, but you guys can see this one better. Because this is my crease, and because of my hooded eyes, I take my crease color above it so you can still see it when I'm looking at you versus not seeing anything unless my eyes are closed. And I will also try to remember to tilt my head so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. So I am just blending that color out. I love this palette. I don't travel with it because it's not on sale. I think it was $80, but I got it like 20% off. I don't travel with it because I'm like, if something happens to this palette, I will be like seriously upset. I always lay down... Um, this color, whatever color I'm putting in my crease and above my crease, I always lay it down. Um, some people just go right in and blend it, but because I have like all of this extra skin up here, <laughs> you know, shadows will skip or the brush may skip just because I have loose skin, all of this up here. So if I just take something, it's going to move. And so that's why I initially lay it down just to get a base. And then once the shadow is there, it's smooth enough for me to blend it without too much of my skin moving. And this does this with whatever shadow I use, with whatever primer I use. And so it's not a primer issue. It's an extra skin on my eye issue. And also, they say for hooded eyes, 
you know, look straight where you want to put it. But when I do that, then I'm missing all this space that's in here. <laughs> and so that's why I, I know where my color is going to go. Because I've been, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't aspire to be. I've been doing this for my face for how I'm 50 now, for about 15 years. And so I know if it goes right here, it's going to be above my, uh, my crease. It's going to be like where the brow bone is, the bottom of the brow bone. And so I am able to open my eyes wide and place the color and it go where I want it to go. I know in here is the crease and I know up here is above the crease without me having to look directly into the mirror or the camera. And so that's something that I do. Even if I was using, if this was my mirror, which is my camera, so it's not my mirror, but even if I was doing that, I would still open my eyes wider because it just levels out the skin issue versus doing this, how you see how like all of this is dragging and I'm not even going real heavy, but it's still dragging. And so even if I am looking straight ahead, I still open my eyes wide so that my skin is taut. Is that the word? Okay, so again, that was this color pin, this upper corner. And so I am going to go into, huh, do I want to do red and green? I want to do purple. I'm going to take this, everybody always does purple, right? I'm going to take this brow over here in this bottom corner. Use the same brush. And I'm very lightly just going to put that in the outer corner. I'm trying to remember to tilt. <laughs> and taking it slightly into the crease, just blending it a little bit. Since I'm not talking a lot, I will edit some of this out. Because I really can't think of anything to say. <laughs> Dipping back into that brown so we can do the other side. I forget sometimes like how saturated these colors are in this palette. And then when I put it on, I'm just like, holy Toledo Batman, like what did I do? But then you just blend it and it is okay. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to blend, get that harsh line out of there. And this side is further over, so I'm gonna bring this over to try and get it somewhat even. My eyeshadow looks are never even. All right, so I need to blend this because this is looking. Stark. So this is what we have. So we're gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush, well, an angled flat shader brush. And we're going to go into this blue. I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think I've used this blow oh my. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I should have used a smaller brush. Oh my gosh. Uh, what was I saying? I was about to say, I don't remember using this color before. I'm sure I must have, but I think I would remember this. I'm pretty sure I did. I need to look through my videos or my pictures. I would definitely <laughs> remember that. I was like, wow. I like that. And this is me tapping off the excess. I'm taking a brush with no, <laughs> with no color on it. And I am just going to go back and forth and blend that with the crease color. <laughs> I like how with that blue, how it kind of blended itself into like a bluish green. I think I'm color deficient or something because I'll think a color is one color and somebody else will be like, no, that's a, such and such color. And I'm like, oh, but it kind of blended itself. Like how this is really saturated down here, like bright blue, deep blue, bright and deep is not the same thing, but up here it kind of fades out. So I like how these shadows do blend themselves and now I'm just trying to blend it with the crease color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with another oh I don't have another blending brush here my life is so hard hashtag first world problem all right so I'm gonna take that first brush I used and I'm gonna wipe off as much as I can and I'm gonna go back into that first color over here in this corner and just lightly dip it in and just go 
along the edge of these colors. Because this side right here, I'm not really liking how this looks like right here. And so that's why I'm wanting to blend that out. So I'm just lightly blending along the edge. I like that. Mmm. All right, so that's all we're going to do with that, except we're going to find something to put color underneath. And I am going to take that, that blue and put that underneath my lower lash line. I don't have any primer underneath my nose. Mm, I am like speaking gibberish. I don't have any color. Mm, I'm saying it again. I don't have any primer. There we go. Underneath my lower lash line. And you guys cannot see when I look into the camera. I cannot see. I am sweating from class. It's like 72 degrees in here too, thanks to my downstairs neighbor because he keeps his heat pumping. I don't think he regulates his heat. I have mine set on 67 and when I get chilly, if I notice it's down to like 69, I'll bump it up to 74. And then before I go to sleep or before I go out, I put it back on 67 or sometimes 65. So that way it doesn't keep kicking on while I'm not home. I don't think he regulates his. I think he just keeps his on like 80. <laughs> If his front door is open and you walk past his apartment, you can like feel the heat radiating out. Like it is ridiculous. And so I kind of wonder what his electric bill looks like. <laughs> I mean, mine is lower since I moved above him. Thanks to him. So I'm not complaining, but it is so warm in here. So that's that. I was going to put black liner on, but I'm not. <laughs> but I am going to do my brows just to give you guys a more complete look. I hope this video isn't too long. I, I can't tell how long it is because the video I recorded right before this one, I did not stop the camera in between. I just did my, okay, thanks for watching. You'll see me next video. Bye. And wave. And then I waited a few seconds. I was like, hi, welcome to TC10. And TC10 and started this video. So I don't know how long this actual video is. And this is looking not right. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's not too long. I know some of you don't care and some people like long videos. I don't like videos like uh, over like 10 minutes for some reason. And you know, it's weird because I don't want to commit really to like 15 or 20 minute videos, but yet I'll watch a movie that's like 90 minutes long. So I don't, I don't know what it is with YouTube where I just don't want to watch like 15 or 20 minute videos. If it's something I'm like super interested in, I will. But then I always end up, not always, but usually when I can tell they're winding down, you know, I click for the next video. Like I don't even <laughs> go to the outro and I, and I apologize for that because I know some of you do watch beginning to end and I really do that these days. I don't know if it's just my attention span or just knowing that it's almost over. It's like leaving a movie when they start rolling the credits, like you don't wait till like the last line. You're like, oh, okay, movie's over, they're done. And even though they're still playing music, you get up and leave. So maybe that's just it. Maybe I'm just like, okay, they're finished. The important stuff is over. I can exit out and go to the next video. And I apologize for you guys because I know that's rude. And maybe some people might think it's disrespectful because I want people to watch my videos, but then I'm like not watching the entirety of someone else's video. So I'm going to work on getting better with that because, you know, they say treat people how you want to be treated. So, yeah, I'm going to work on that. So that's it for this look, except for we're going to do um, a lip. This was the Fenty Brow Wiz. Is it Brow Wiz? It is not. Brow MVP in soft black. Her brown black was too... Excuse me, it's like I'm always belching on camera. Her brown black or black brown or whatever was kind of red for... Excuse me. Too red for me. This is the Fenty. I don't even know what color this is. This is her brown one. I was going to put on my reading glasses and look at it, but that's going to take extra time. So we're just going to go in. I know. Not a neutral lip with a dark eye. I like dark lips. I like dark eyes. I 
I like being able to see eyeshadow. I like being able to see the lip color. The only thing I don't like to be able to see is the foundation. But it's like, if I'm gonna put color on my face, meaning my lips and my eyes, I want it to be seen. And I like it. I like this look and I would wear this out, so I'm gonna have to remember. And this was really simple, because I only used three colors from this palette. Um, the top right, <laughs> the bottom left, and then the blue. A three color look, that's it. And I like it, I dig it, so I'm glad I did this video and I hope you guys enjoy it too. And if you do subscribe, it's free. Click the notification bell if you wanna be automatically uploaded up. And click the notification bell if you would like to be notified. <laughs> As soon as I upload new videos. See, if I, if I was a professional, I would edit that out. But I'm not. So we're going to leave it in. Because then that's the crazy NTCTN. And so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.